Hello everyone! In this video, we'll talk about the Hyperledger project, its benefits, limitations, as well as the most prominent tools and frameworks. Let's start! Everyone knows Bitcoin and Ethereum. The success and popularity of these platforms have in some ways influenced the fact that many people associate blockchain with crypto transactions. Meanwhile, Hyperledger, another powerful blockchain player, completely breaks this stereotype. So, what is Hyperledger? Hyperledger isn't a blockchain platform in itself, as it might seem at first glance. It's a global project created specifically for enterprises. It offers up the infrastructure frameworks, tools, guidelines and standards for building open-source blockchains and decentralized applications. All projects created under the Hyperledger umbrella have a modular architecture that provides high scalability and interoperability. They can be easily integrated with each other in order to complement features and functionality. Unlike most blockchains, Hyperledger projects don't have built-in tokens or cryptocurrency. Enterprises can choose to create or integrate a particular coin if they need one. A bit of history. The Hyperledger project was launched in 2015 by the Linux Foundation. It was created by 30 corporate founders who were responsible for bringing about its organizational and technical governance framework structure. The project grew and gained popularity at an incredible speed. In January 2018, the Hyperledger became the fastest growing project ever created by Linux. Today, there are 250 famous participants. The list includes such prominent industry leaders as ABARS, IBM, SAP, Something, American Express, JP Morgan, and others. But anyway, what does Hyperledger bring to the table? Hyperledger is all about guaranteed security, efficiency, and an innovative approach. What else? Well, Hyperledger offers its participants access to numerous resources, a vast network of member contacts, and reliable technical knowledge. Hyperledger also takes great care over data protection. It only shows information and data to the user who has access to it. This significant aspect, coupled with increased accountability, builds up trust between companies and brings more organizations into its circle. The ability for users to apply any business logic to their smart contracts that they consider suitable is another significant benefit. Despite all these advantages, there are also some drawbacks. Unfortunately, there are not many developers with extensive experience with this blockchain compared to Ethereum or Bitcoin. Those who have built application on Hyperledger point out vague documentation, lack of use cases and complex architecture. What are the components of Hyperledger architecture? Any Hyperledger project is based on a modular extensive approach. This is the most important peculiarity. Generally, Hyperledger uses the following business components. Consensus layer. It's responsible for drawing an agreement and verifying the accuracy of transactions that make up a block. Smart contract layer. It makes sure that all transaction requests are processed and it authorizes only those that are valid. Communication layer. It facilitates communication between users and ensures peer-to-peer -peer message exchange. Identity management service. It's an extremely significant function that maintains and validates users' identities and develops trust on the blockchain. API. It empowers external apps and clients to interact with the blockchain. Let's talk about Hyperledger frameworks and their peculiarities. Hyperledger's umbrella strategy involves promoting and utilizing a number of business blockchain technologies, smart contract engines, DLT frameworks, graphical interfaces, applications, and libraries. Projects that Hyperledger hosts these days include the following Hyperledger Fabric. Hyperledger Fabric is one of the most popular blockchain platforms. It was created by IBM for enterprise use and serves as a foundation for designing apps with a modular architecture. These networks consist of channels which are private subnets of communication between specific members. They carry out transactions within the channels and can be sure that the information will remain confidential. This feature is particularly useful in industries such as healthcare, supply chain, banking, and insurance, where data cannot be exposed to unknown entities. Hyperledger Fabric also supports quick transaction throughput from its consensus mechanism. The transaction speed is 3,500 transactions per second. Here are a few tips for developers who plan to try their hand at this framework. Carefully study and understand technologies such as Docker, Docker Compose, Kubernetes, Level IDB, and CouchDB. 
Learn what a certification authority CA is and how it works. Understand how consensus operates. From the very beginning, conduct the development of your future application on several network nodes. Hyperledger Borrow Hyperledger Borrow is a fully-fledged blockchain node and smart contract execution engine that acts as a bridge between traditional Ethereum smart contracts and permissioned architecture for corporate environments. It supports the Ethereum virtual machine as well as VASM-based smart contracts. Burry consists of a consensus engine, smart contract application, application blockchain interface, application library interface, and API gateway. This framework is responsible for simplifying and speeding up development processes. It offers a cutting-edge event system and built-in governance and permissioning and possesses capabilities like high transaction throughput and transaction finality. With its smart contracts backbone, Burry can apply its functionality to spheres like finance, healthcare, government, and logistics. Hyperledger Indy Hyperledger Indy is a distributed ledger that was built for identity management. This framework offers users libraries, reusable components, and other convenient tools that allow them to create and manage independent EIDs. Consensus in Hyperledger Indy is based on redundant Byzantine fault tolerance, which is a protocol inspired by planet Byzantine fault tolerance, Plenum. In addition, Hyperledger Indy has an ecosystem that enables its users to be in control of their personal data. The platform provides separate storage for digital identity via a private blockchain subnet. Users on the public blockchain can therefore control the permissions and offer access to their credentials on other personal information if and when needed. This system allows the easy exchange of private data between organizations and individuals without the risks of forgery and theft. Hyperledger iRoha Hyperledger iRoha is a business blockchain framework designed for infrastructure projects that require DLT. Hyperledger iRoha runs on the Byzantine fault tolerance consensus algorithm and has its own permission module and multi signature support. iRoha's architecture has a clean and straightforward design that boosts the application's performance, stability, and usability. Although it's claimed to be a general purpose blockchain, Hyperledger iRoha is especially great for building digital payment systems into bank settlement solutions and logistics platforms. Features such as currently handling and communication between the blockchain and mobile backends are already pre programmed into the platform. Hyperledger Sortus Hyperledger Sortus is an open source enterprise blockchain as a service platform. Sortus provides a blockchain architecture with the core network functionality separated from the actual application logic. Smart contracts here specify the business rules for apps, so users don't even need to know the underlying design of the core system. Sortus featured consensus model is its own unique proof of elapsed time algorithm. POET chooses a network node that completes block creation via a random number generator running in protected memory space. What really makes Citrus shine is an advanced scheduler that separates transactions into parallel flows. This increases the performance considerably while still ensuring there is no double spending on transactions. Another neat feature of the platform is its integration with the Hyperledger Borrow. This creates a window to the Ethereum virtual machine and connects the tools with the large ecosystem of dApps. The tools technology can be used in a wide variety of industries, from capital markets to global trade. It can also play a key role in the supply chain industry. What about Hyperledger tools? Hyperledger tools are intended to save developers a lot of time and effort when delivering blockchain projects. There is Hyperledger Caliper, for instance. The component that makes it stand out is its adoption layer. It enables Caliper to be easily integrated with other blockchain solutions. Hyperledger Cheller offers a multi-tenant chain service that allows it to run on top of a range of infrastructures such as virtual machines, bare metal, container platforms. The next one is Hyperledger Explorer. It is used for performing procedures such as viewing, deploying, invoking and querying blocks, transactions data and other data stored on the blockchain. There are also Hyperledger Composer, Hyperledger Quilt and Hyperledger Ursa. All of them contribute to 
the greater overall security of blockchain-based applications. Let's take a look at real-world solutions built in Hyperledger frameworks. Since the most frequently used frameworks is Hyperledger Fabric, there are tons of solutions built on top of it. For example, Walmart, one of the world's largest retailers, utilizes Hyperledger Fabric to address food safety issues. Together with Big Blue, it established the IBM Food Trust that is currently being tested by approximately 120 companies. So far, it has tracked multiple SKUs like fresh leafy greens, strawberries, yogurt, and poultry, and millions of records have been uploaded to the blockchain. Also, being formed of Hyperledger Fabric, Visa has filed for 50 blockchain patents from a real-time payment settlement system to crypto trading. Recently, this credit card network has decided to launch another promising project, B2B Connect. This project uses blockchain and helps banks globally process cross-border business-to-business payments. When it comes to Hyperledger Borrow, it's well suited to sharing business processes between companies within an open environment. The Agreements Network provides a great example here. It uses Borrow to build an ecosystem for sharing legal documents and contracts between any type of business connected to the network. And one more example, the Member Pass Sovereign Identity Solution. This Hyperledger Indie-based application allows credit unions to streamline their identity authentication processes, creating one unified means for identifying members and credit union personnel. Finally, what are the prospects for Hyperledger? Hyperledger's potential is undoubtedly admirable, and the possibilities it brings are enormous. The project simplifies the development process and allows the enterprises to reap numerous benefits from blockchain implementation and therefore boost their business performance. For six years of its existence, the Hyperledger project stirred up the interest of many famous industry giants, including IBM, Amazon, Visa and Walmart. The list of participants and users is bound to expand and we will witness many more state-of-the-art projects. Would you like to find out more about Hyperledger and other blockchain projects, frameworks and tools? Check out our blog for the latest technology trends and developments. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and comment below. Subscribe to our channel to be the first to watch our videos with insights from our blockchain experts. Stay tuned! Bye!